what's going on you guys welcome back to another screw toy action figure review and today we'll be looking at the avengers endgame mafex iron spider and uh i did just receive this package here in the mail a couple hours ago and uh yeah man i'm very excited to review it i know it did come out i want to say four or five months ago if that um this is the third attempt by metacom if i'm not mistaken Third or second attempt by Metacom, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know the previous one right before this one is very, very similar, almost identical. The only thing different is that the uh, previous ones, uh, the eyes were inaccurate and they were white instead of blue. Uh, so this one did correct it. And we also get the added gauntlet from the Avengers Endgame movie. So um, let's get a quick look at the packaging and then at the figure. Up front, you got your standard Mayfix packaging. You got the product shot of Iron Spider here, Avengers Endgame, Mayfix, Metacom number 121. You got the Avengers Endgame logo. And actually this kind of looks like the uniform they wear when they're doing the time travel. So I just noticed that. As you can see the white, the grays, the red, and then the logo on the costume. Um, on top, you get a little slit right there. Uh, you can't really see much from it. Avengers Endgame, Marvel. And then on the side, you get a product shot of Iron Spider. Again, number 121. And the back, more product shots with uh, all the accessories it comes with. Um, I'm pretty sure our little details in different languages. Uh, Scary Bear, as Robo likes to say. <laughs> Marvel. Same thing on the other side, another product shot at the bottom. A whole bunch of uh, words that I'm not gonna read. And then you got your hologram sticker to show that it is authentic. And if you're 15 and under, you can't play with it. But enough about the packaging, let's get to the figure. And here's the figure out the package. And this figure, man, is by far one of the worst figures that um i've handled in a while and um aesthetically yes it does look great it looks very pleasing to the eye and it's just a very great looking figure uh the mechanics that go into this figure and are behind this figure is are just a pain in the, in the ass man there were it's such a frustrating figure and it's such a shame because i was really looking forward to this figure and this is actually, since I filmed the boxing segment of this video, that was about four or five days ago. And I'm just now uh, able to review this figure. And we'll get more into that in a second. But first, let's look at all the accessories he does come with. So starting off with some of the accessories, or all the accessories he comes with. He obviously comes with the uh, Mafex stand that most Mafex figures do come with. And it, it is a pretty good stand. They're uh, some of my favorite Actually, it is my favorite stand. I don't think there's any other stand um, that I prefer over the Mafex. The, I, most of my figures are post with the NECA stands. And um, yeah, those are pretty clunky and, and raggedy. This one is pretty sturdy and, and just good quality overall, man. He also comes with his iron spider legs. And it is a interchangeable back plate. Kind of just, oh, see, and it, that's one of the things that um really bothers me about this figure is that it's very very it doesn't stay together very well man at all um you always have you know pieces falling apart um falling off and it just won't stay together well um it is very annoying um, and it's just the pegs they go with uh, as you can see it's just a straight peg instead of you know typical action figures have that little mushroom peg so when you peg it in it's not going to come back out and it's it's just very annoying but this back piece does just um, switch out as I have the figure over here it does just come off and uh, you can pick this one on and as so and yeah man stays on pretty well but these arms don't so he does come with his iron spider legs. Uh, he comes with three head sculpts. You get 
this one that comes straight out of the packaging, which is uh, very nice, man. Um, and this is one of the most accurate iron spider heads we've gotten so far from any company, but not 100% accurate. Um, his eyes should be all blue and not just that blue circle in the middle. I believe the specific look that they referenced was from like a single frame shot right before his eyes turn red. It does become a small blue circle and then they become red, but it should be blue all the way through, not just that small area. So that's a little unfortunate. And then you get some squintier eyes, which I think I actually might like this one a little bit more. But yeah, just very good paint all around. You can see that those cobwebs are sculpted in and uh, painted black. You can see his ear on the side and the little shutters on the on the lenses you can see that those are sculpted in there as well very good looking head sculpts and then you get the instant kill mode head which looks pretty great and this is 100 percent accurate unlike the other two heads um but yeah man they all look pretty great and then you get two sets of feet you get these the ones that he comes with straight out of the packaging and they are your typical oh no actually these are these are the ones that he comes with straight out of the packaging they're your regular feet that you know he comes with and then he gets this pair which are magnetic as you can see oh okay but they are magnetic six pairs of hands you get whipping hands as every spider-man should come with as you can see yeah, you can see the uh, little web shooter in there in his palm nicely sculpted and then he does come with two fists see you can also see the web shooter in there oh, and I'm just dropping everything today he comes with Two relax hands. You can see the web shooter slash arc reactor that Iron Spider does have in Infinity War and Endgame. And if I'm not mistaken, that arc reactor should be blue, if I'm not mistaken. So he does come with those. He comes with two sets of web grabbing hands. As you can see, it's nicely sculpted. And uh, the webs that he comes with to hold do just slide in there. Oh, well, these are more of like uh, web swinging hands. So, very nice. I'll just get that in there for now. He does come with two wall crawling hands. A very nice deal, detailed. Again, I think that arc reactor in the middle should be blue, if I'm remembering correctly. And then he does come with two more sets of wall crawling hands, but they do have a magnet in the middle, as you can see. So if they wanted to stick them to something metal, they can. But he does come with two sets of web swinging webs. And it's, if I can get it to focus, which is very hard. As you can see it is just a translucent plastic. Um, I wish it was a more milky white to make it look more like webs, but this will do. And then he does come with two sets of like um, longer webs shooting out of his web shooters. Again, just that translucent plastic. And then he does come with a set of two shorter ones, which do look nice. And the last thing that he does come with is the nano gauntlet. And I think this came out pretty dope, man. As you can see, you can see it's metallic red with silver, some gold sprinkled in there. And then all the infinity stones are a translucent plastic. Um, you got the mind stone, mind stone, soul stone. 
got the reality stone, space stone, and power stone, and the time stone right there. And they are very tiny, so it's hard to see the color. Let's see if I can get it focused up close. And I think that's probably the closest I'll be able to do. But yeah, man, it looks nice. And it is hollow on the inside, so if you want to put it on someone, you can. I did try to put it on. Give me a second. My uh, Marvel Legends Thanos. So you just pop the fist off and uh, kind of just push it in there. And it looks okay. I kind of feel like it looks kind of small, like he has a very small hand. So that doesn't really work out too well. But if, you know, certain shots and certain angles, I think you can make it work. Now getting a close-up look at this figure, um, aesthetically, it does look very, very good, as you can see. Um, pretty much damn near accurate to the movie. Um, again, I really do love this figure, and I was looking very, very much forward to uh, this figure. Uh, I was very excited to get it in, as it is one of my favorite costumes that Tom Holland has put on screen. Actually, one of my favorite Spider-Man costumes, period, uh, from any movie, any Spider-Man movie. But the bad does outweigh the good on this figure, man. And that's very unfortunate to say because, again, I really did want to love this figure. But there's, there's just too many things that, man, they, it really does bother me. Uh, first off, like I said, the legs are very flimsy. They fall off real easy. If you peg it in the bag and you try to move them around, they just will fall off and uh, won't stay on. They are on there by little ball joints, as you can see. And uh, that can get very annoying and frustrating. Another thing that really bothers me is that the feet come off super easy, man, like real, real easily. For some reason, they just slide off. If I'm, you know, just move, look, just pushing the foot back it just glides right off and that's really really obnoxious and annoying um and the one thing that was um that took me forever to actually review this toy was that the arm well now it doesn't want to but and I, I don't you know what let me just do it the arm did not want to peg in there and it would just fall off like it did not want to stay in there so I was really close to returning this figure, but I decided to try to fix it myself, and I kind of did. So there was just too much plastic here at the end. For some reason, this, this shoulder piece is a separate rubber plastic piece that slides on and off, and I'm not going to take it off because that's a pain in the ass to put back on and off. Um, as well as this piece right here, the bicep, is a separate piece, which I have no idea why they do that, man. That's really annoying and um it just does slide back in but there was just too much plastic here and it would the peg could not reach that that peg hole in there so i had to shave down some of the plastic and um finally i was able to uh shave enough down where where i peg it in you won't be able to see where i cut it and it kind of stays on there now if i can get it right As you can see, there it's just really hard to put on. So you gotta do it a certain way. And see, when you try to peg it in, this separate floating piece does want to slide down, and it makes it hard for me to actually peg that damn peg in there. So I try to, there. So I gotta really push it in there hard. And even then, when I move it around, sometimes it just pops off, and it's it's really annoying. Um, again, I really did want to love this figure. But there's just too many things wrong with it, man. It's too, too flimsy. Too, I can't. I don't. I don't know what words, the right words to use it. But for a hundred dollar figure, man, it sh I should not have these problems. I really shouldn't. Um, so that's very, very upsetting. But as soon as I finish this review, it's gonna go up on a shelf, and I'm most likely never gonna touch it again. There shouldn't be this many problems with a hunt. See, I just turn the arm around and pops off. Man, I hate this shit. Yeah, 
that's just that's obnoxious but anyways let's get a closer look at this guy's articulation the articulation on the legs uh they are on a ball, ball joint here at the base so they do rotate or they do hinge up and down or the way you have it set up they do hinge side to side uh let me see they do hinge side to side um there goes the leg falling off like always uh, but the arms are on one two three different hinges so it does hinge here at the upper claw so it does go down uh, a little bit of up I, I wish there was a ball joint here here and here but they are just hinges so it does just hinge that much up that much down this middle one hinges just about straight it does hinge about 90 degrees and then same thing for the bottom it doesn't hinge straight it kind of has that little curve uh, and it does hinge 90 degrees so the head and the neck piece are two separate pieces um, let's pop it off you can see that that neck is a separate piece he can look all the way up all the way down well I wonder if I'm turning it around let's see maybe if I turn this around pop that that's really scary because that is a very thin peg right there oh yeah so if you turn it around you can look all the way down so that's that's what that's for depending on how you have that um that net neck neck peg configured you can have him look all the way up and all the way down uh he does have amazing head pivot for some reason i feel like it wants to pivot more this way but yeah great head pivot uh, he does have butterfly joints as you can see there his arm can move all the way up uh, he does have a bicep swivel again on this hand if i of course on camera wants to stay on but he does have bicep swivel double jointed elbows bend in all the way he has ball peg wrist so he can hinge a little bit up that that gauntlet does get in the way so it does hinge just a tiny bit up more down uh, and then the way depending on how you have that peg set up in the hand he does have side to side and that's with obviously all the hands because it's the ball peg that moves him um, he does have a upper torso cut so he can move this much to the side this much this way this much back this much forward and then he does have a ball joint at the lower waist so with those two he can bend in this much forward that much back that much to the side that much to that side and he does have drop down hips so we pull down he can kick up this much and that far back he does have a shift inside that thigh he does have double jointed knees uh, his foot is on a ball point uh, ball joint so he can hinge that much forward that much back and see as soon as you move it backwards it does fall off he does have angle pivot and toe articulation now for some size comparisons here we have the iron spider next to the marvel legends bucky and i think these two scale really nicely together and here we have them with the mad titan thanos and uh he does tower over this pretty much boy teenage boy so i feel like this is a perfect high difference again i think he works very well in your marvel legends display so if you wanted to grab this one put him in your display um, i think it works pretty well and here we have him next to the sh figure arts battle endgame thor or final battle endgame thor and these look really good together i think that maybe he's a little too tall but you can make it work and you know if you have him crouching down or something i think um you can make it work something like that here we have the figure with all the accessories he does come with and uh overall man it's hard for me to say that i really am disappointed with this figure as much as i really wanted to be excited about him and really really like him um again there is some very good things about this figure he aesthetically looks really good um 
does come with a shit ton of accessories as you can see uh, but just overall man it, there's just too many flaws too many things wrong with it um, I shouldn't have had to shave that arm down to make it work to make it fit properly and stay on um, the feet don't want to stay on all the time when I'm moving back uh, the hands pop off all the time those arms those iron spider arms the legs or the waddles whatever you want to call them um, very flimsy I move them they fall off uh, just very very irritating figure uh, I wish it was put together a lot better for a hundred dollar figure I can't stop saying that it is a very expensive figure it's not cheap uh, and if I'm spending that much money on a figure um, I really do expect it to be more than average and more than just good out of a scale of one to ten i give this a solid five and if i didn't have all the other issues i would give it a, a way higher ranking i would say maybe nine nine and a half maybe even a ten but there's just too many issues with it and again man just very disappointed but anyways, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you would like me to see review next. Um, and yeah, man, I'll catch you guys next time.